Hello, welcome to Training Marks Java Coding Challenges series. In this session, we'll discuss about one more coding challenge that is printing different star patterns. So let us understand the logic for this particular program. So in this, first, how do you print the stars using some patterns? So they may ask you different, different patterns for printing stars or printing numbers. So in our program, now we need to print uh, a special character called star. And then suppose if they ask you to print in a particular pattern example, uh, so I'm printing three, uh, two stars here and then three stars here. And in a four lines, I'm going to print four, four stars. This is what one pattern or they may ask you to print it in other shape. Example, I'm printing one star here and then two stars like this and then three stars like this and four stars like this, which is exactly the mirror image of the particular one. Or they may ask you to print it in a reverse format. Like in the first line itself, they ask you to uh, print four or five, depending upon how many number of uh, stars they want to print. And then second line three and third is two and then is one or the mirror image of it. Let us say I have four in the first line next three in the second line and two in the third line and one in the fourth line or sometimes what they ask you to do is they want to print it as a diamond one or diamond diamond problem is going to be like this now here uh, this is what one you have and two more comes here and then three more comes here and four more comes here and in the reverse then you know to start with four again then you know to start with three again then you know to start with the two then you know to start with one so this is what uh, they ask you to print it in a diamond shape so uh, there are varieties of programs that they may ask you to print uh, the stars or the numbers example suppose the same uh, program you can replace with any character the character could be a question mark or the character could be one or could be any number or maybe zero or whatever so uh, based on whatever the format they want to print, uh, then you have to print it. So let us understand the logic. The logic is going to be pretty similar that how you print the Floyd triangle because here you're printing the asterisk based on the number of lines. The same logic we're going to follow, but how many spaces you want to print in between, like how you want to organize your for loops to print all these different kinds of shapes, uh, we'll discuss in the Eclipse. So let me create a new Java class to print all the star patterns. So I'm taking a new class. So I'm naming this class as star patterns. I'm selecting my main method. So like our previous program, here we now first take the number of lines, how many number of lines you want to print the star. So that I'm just writing by using the system printl and enter number. To take this number of lines as an input, so we are taking the help of scanner or so scanner scanner is equals to new scanner of system i am and uh, i'm going to import my scanner and then i'm going to assign the entered number to number of lines to the number variable by using scanner dot next string now my number variable holds the number of lines. So how we're going to print the star or it could be any character as we discussed in our logic or could be a numbers also. So now let us try to print it by using star. Uh, so here I'm taking a variable char c is equals to now directly I'm assigning with a, uh, a star or you can take this character as an input if you want. Uh, and then I want to print only the star in this uh, program. So now how I'm going to write the logic. Now the logic is going to be pretty same as the previous program. Now first I'll start with an outer for, for loop taking int i is equal to one. Now till the number of lines, I'm going to increment i plus plus. Then I, I need to take how many number of lines I want to print this. Now I'm going to take for int j is equal to one j less than or equal to i then j plus plus this same logic as our previous Floyd triangle but instead of printing the Floyd triangle here we are going to print only the character that is c now after printing it now i just need to print within the new line so just a system dot print line 
Now let's see that how this character prints looks like. So let me enter the number of lines as four. And when I enter, see, I got one character pattern. So when I run it, and then I'll take it for number of lines as five, then I got five line star. So this is what uh, one character print. And then if they ask you to print the spaces, now simply you add one space here. So if you run your program, then it is now going to print the number of lines as five. This is what your character print. So how you are going to take the other uh, uh, star pattern example, suppose you want to print the mirror image of it. So that what exactly comes is these five in the uh, first line, you will come with the spaces and then one. Then you, you have to print two. Then you have to print three like this. This will exactly come as a mirror image. So how are we going to do that? So to print it as a mirror image, now simply what we do is we need to add the spaces in between. So uh, as per our previous logic, like how many number of spaces you need to add. So we need to take a variable in spaces is equals to first initially I'll assign it to the number of variables, number of lines. Now then I'm going to take one more inner for loop for printing the spaces here as first place. So now I'm going to say for, I'm going to take one variable to iterate to the number of loops s less than or equal to spaces. Now s plus plus. So and then here I'm going to use system dot out dot print and then I'm going to print my spaces and here I'm going to increment my I'm going to decrement my spaces. Now let me run it. So we'll adjust how many number of spaces we really require. Now let me enter four. So when I enter four, okay, it actually prints you exactly like uh, uh, the diamond shape because uh, this is what uh, the Floyd strangle that what we have print. So if you want uh, to print uh, exactly the mirror image of the previous program. So if you want to do that, so probably what we need to do is we need to adjust the number of spaces here. Now because you have taken only two spaces, now it is going to come like this. But how many spaces you know to add is, uh, let me let me just take it as uh, less than spaces. So this space also won't come so that it will print uh, exactly the triangle shape like this. But if you want this one to be occur here, so how many spaces you know to print is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. So now how we're going to say that this value should be six in the first line and second line it would be till uh, so now it will come like here. So now how many spaces you want one, two, three, four. Then you want one, two, three like this. So how we are going to write this is now let me calculate this is into a formula two into spaces minus one and then till that we just try to run my program. So enter number of lines as four, then we got the exact mirror image. So now instead of, uh, you know, uh, printing with one spaces, now here we are multiplying with the two because we need the exact mirror image of it. So now how you club both of this? So previously when I delete this now, so let me comment out this and then run. Now, now it is going to give me the first shape enter number of lines as four and it is given me like this if you want to combine with spaces now how we are going to do this is just uncomment this and then run your program so that you got this so how you're going to club both of this if you want to club both of this what you do is now you just copy this and then print these characters and then the spaces and then this so let me run this program and then print on four then you need to adjust the spaces now now why because the now uh, the number of spaces is going to be initially uh, when it is printing uh, one then the spaces is going to be how many spaces you want because you have lot many spaces in between so to have a proper shape of it what i'm going to do this is let me delete the spaces so that it will come uh, exactly based on this formula now let me run this so let me give it as four then we got the exact shape like how many number of spaces you want so uh, it's pretty simple so only the calculation based on how many spaces you want to print in it so this is a way you can print different kinds of patterns but in this there is one more uh, program which usually comes like uh, uh, printing these patterns in a diamond shape now let us understand like how this diamond shape will come 
So the diamond shape looks like this. So we need to write a code uh, to print your stars uh, to look like in a diamond shape. So let us understand like how we are going to write the code. So let me change the code. So what I'm doing is I'm just deleting this code now. So let me write the code from the beginning. So uh, if you understand our previous logic of printing uh, the spaces uh, exactly it looks like a Floyd triangle. So this also looks like a Floyd triangle, but in the reverse also we need to print. So to take that, what we initially do is we create the spaces variable initialized to the num if you know it. And then I'm going to write my same logic in there is equal to one, i less than or equal to n, and then i plus plus. So I'm going to write it till uh, the number of lines. So it is number. Now I'm going to take uh, the in a for loop for printing the star with j less than or equal to i how many number of times you want to print j plus plus because we have spaces here so what we do is we print instead of using print ln i'm going to use c the character with some space so and after this i'm now going to print system dot out dot print ln uh, with one more space uh, sorry, uh, uh, no space is required because it's a print ln statement. So now uh, this is what uh, the plain uh, code looks like. Like so, so let me run it for the first time. So when I'm entering six here, so now it just prints like this, but spaces are not aligned to exactly looks like a Floyd triangle with a proper shape. So what we do is we add the spaces code here. So to add spaces, now I'm taking one more inner for loop. Uh, initializing variable s is equal to one and then s uh, less than or equal to spaces so here we're going to take only till less than uh, because we need only three spaces to come our uh, based on the number of lines so now i'm going to say s plus plus i'm incrementing now here let me print the space now here is one space i'm now printing so let me run it to see how exactly it looks like when i give the number of lines as six so now, uh, okay, so what the mistake I did is, now I did not decrement my spaces here. So spaces should be decremented after printing the characters every time, so let me run. So now here uh, I have, uh, just let me put my console here. So let me enter the number of lines of six. Now here, I got exactly like a, a shape. Now the reverse of it I need to print. So to print it reverse, here. so now here uh, till the number of line six I have uh, printed here but now when I'm printing again it should start with five not exactly with six so to do that I need to run the same for loop second time but here what exactly we're going to do is here uh, let us understand the I value now till reach to number and then this for loop now got executed so we got this output but there's one variable, now number is still six now, but there is one variable called spaces whose value will be, is become zero now. Now that what I'm just going to do is, now this spaces has become zero. So in the next line, when I'm running it, now what I need to do, I need to start with this i value, not with one, but with the number itself. Or when I say number, how it is going to come, and then I'll just show you. Now then I need to say it is greater than or equal to one. I need to decrement this instead of incrementing. So now we are going to now print the same. So rest of the code is going to be same. Now I'll just let you know like how this output looks like. So let me run it. So I'm just entering my number of lines as six. So when I enter six now, if you look at this, the spaces value was zero. And then even though I'm incrementing space here, I'm decrementing so that it goes into the negative value. So the condition is going to be false. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to increment this. Now let me see how it is going to come now. Now let me enter six. Now it came in a shape, but the point is this line is duplicated now. So if you look at this, the spaces started with one, but the spaces actually value was zero in the first condition and in the two iterations, uh, the condition did not execute so what I do is I'll just initialize it to zero because the spaces value was zero and then instead of less than I'm just going to say it less than or equal to and then let me run it so when I run this now the number of lines are six now here one more line got executed uh, because space was zero now space was coming and then this line we don't want so probably what I do is uh, I, I just put it less than only Okay, now let me run it. 
so when I run it with the line number six then we got the exact output the point here is this line is duplicated now I don't want this line so if you don't want the line this line what you do is probably instead of starting with number so you start with number minus one so then it will start printing only this it will eliminate this so when you run this now I'm entering six but the spaces is not printed why because you're starting with zero but the spaces value was zero so instead of this what I'm going to do is less than or equal to spaces now when I'm running it now then um, enter number of six now you got the exact diamond shape so this is what how you print the patterns in a diamond shape so whatever may be the shape the only thing you need to understand is how you're going to use your for loops how many number of nested for loops how many spaces you need to adjust that is what the logic is all about